Battles are not only being fought in Washington, but also on social outlets like Facebook and Twitter. News 13's Dave DeMarco has more now on how each side in this budget battle is taking their fights directly to voters on social media. Twitter began as a simplified version of status updates and instant messaging between friends. But it's evolved as a networking site where you can literally get a hold of just about anyone these days. And as he pushes for what could be one of the most important votes of his presidency, it even has the attention of President Obama. Let your members of Congress know. Make a phone call, send an email, tweet. Keep the pressure on Washington. The White House Friday even started publicizing the handles of Republican representatives and put out tweets like this one that read, any increase in interest rates is a tax increase on all. It would happen if we default or don't solve our debt. The Twitter pages of Florida lawmakers in Washington were mostly quiet Friday. The most recent post by Congressman Daniel Webster called the Boehner plan good for Central Florida, while Representative Corinne Brown strongly criticized it. While their followers are still measured in the hundreds, the House Speaker's Twitter site now has nearly 200,000, waiting to see what significant developments he might release. In Orlando, Dave DeMarco, News 13.